Filipinas, that's their love language. Only if, of course, this is not normal for Filipinas to be assertive in doing three I just met you. I'm not like totally in love with you or serious with you. So I would like to say that a real Filipina won't share their food to other person because you do not know that girl much. Yeah. You and have to remember that. She can definitely use that for leverage. She can put it in a situation that you would be blacklisted or even worse, you'll be in jail. Welcome, welcome to, to our, our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. My name is Asmi. It's me, Roger. And, and welcome, welcome to Roger, Roger and, and Asmi Vlogs. So today's subject, the assertive Filipina. Before we start, I can salamat sa inyong pagigugma, pagsuporta sa among channel. Thank you so much for your love and support, guys. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell for new uploads or new videos. So, what is this assertive Filipina that we're talking about? Of course, we'll be explaining that to you guys. Yes, maybe some of you guys know this already. <laughs> yes, some of you experience it already. Yeah. So oh, what no. is a Filipina? So, as a guy or as a Filipino guy, a typical Filipina is like we mentioned in every time in our video that a typical Filipina, those Filipinas are like can take care of the house. Um, a traditional Filipina, a Filipina that will do everything for um, her man. Yes, yeah, so being a typical Filipina, most of the personality of a Filipina is they are shy at first, especially if this is your first day of meeting each other. So of course, they are much more shy. They don't really talk a lot, but once they are comfortable with their partner, then you would really know their behavior. And then you would notice that, oh, she's funny, she's really entertaining, she's talkative. She can really, really give that positive vibes that you're looking for. Yes, so in short, you will know her uh, in the process of your relationship. Yeah, so in the typical Filipinos behavior, each Filipina are unique, depends on where they grow and what environment that they are living in. Yes, um, I agree with that because uh, it would really vary on uh, someone's, like, uh, like, like what you said, environment, right? Yes, people. And also, uh, each of them has their own unique uh, characteristics. Yes, behavior-wise, this is just a general that we're explaining to you guys. So most Filipinas are not the type of Filipinas that you experience. Like some of you guys, you see Filipinas that they are much more like vocal right away yeah. when the, you first m meet them. Most of Filipinas in general, they're shy. Yeah. And especially if you are in an area that there are also other Filipinos and Filipinas. Yeah. They're shy, especially in speaking English. That's true. Especially uh, if they're talking to foreigners. Yes. Well, yeah, not unless if uh, she's a very experienced type of woman. So then it's uh, easy for her to like communicate, uh, get along with uh, other nationalities. And yes, that is true. And most Filipinas also, they prefer to cook they prefer to do the groceries. They are so happy if the fridge is full. Yes. Yeah, you have to put that in your mind, guys. <laughs> yes, they are really happy, guys. Like, say for example, she would really be positive. Like, let's go to the supermarket. Let's buy. Or I have this place that is much more cheaper. Yep. Yes. So most Filipinas, they would always choose a cheaper location, a cheaper market for you to buy food yeah. and they prefer to bargain most of the time they bargain right. so bottom line with this is a typical filipina will uh, do everything for uh, her man like what i said earlier like, for the family yeah yeah for the family and value everything uh, yes. to make you happy at the same time that's true and they are more budget wise yes they always try to save money for you because 
they're thinking it's not their money it's their husband's money so of course they value your money right as a filipina wife or as a filipina girlfriend so uh for me i can say that's uh, a wife material so that's what you're looking for so now what we're going to tell you guys is we have to like expose those uh, filipinas who are like trying to uh be assertive be assertive to foreigners yeah yes. and uh not just scamming foreigners guys because that's common nowadays so uh, a disclaimer not all filipinas are like this okay yes so it's just that um just to happen that you encounter a wrong filipina yes so these are the warning signals that you really need to notice guys especially for those assertive filipinas so these types of filipinas they would sell themselves they would sell themselves to the point that they are much more like vocal that what they want yeah yeah touchy, touchy even though during the first meeting yeah they would touch you physically touch you but for filipinas that's their love language only if they're already comfortable towards you but if a filipina initiates right away that they're touchy all the time and they try to talk to you and try to touch you right away that's already a warning signal because most filipinas they are a little bit scared to touch a person that they just met yeah agree so how do you know so that's what she mentioned so you really have to be uh cautious of this type of filipina yeah for sure you will encounter this in let's say for example uh bars yeah so in places where uh a lot of foreigners and that type of filipina will just go there because she knows that okay um i can encounter foreigners there yes and always remember guys if a filipina would always try to be assertive in every way as possible like even though you didn't say that oh you can live with me she would directly just get her bags get her clothes she would just live right away without your permission yeah. living together well i do not know if you will allow that if you'll encounter that kind of or type of filipina well that's gonna be a warning or a red signal or flag already yeah that she will just move uh, herself or things right away to your place or condo let's say for example yes that's right and of course this is not normal for filipinas to be assertive in doing threesome ah, <laughs> i don't know if you <laughs> encounter this uh, type of filipina that uh who initiates okay yeah let's do threesome yeah well i do not know if she's a good filipina but <laughs> no way yes most filipinas you already know that they're they're jealous type yeah they would always put a mark on who they own yeah this is my man yes they're much more territorial so most filipinas are like that guys and they will never share who they are dating yeah so if a filipina would initiate oh let's go with a threesome do you want to experience that as a guy of course i want to ask you if uh, a girl or a woman would say that oh let's do a threesome yes <laughs> why not because no, we just that common. yeah because common i just met you i'm not like totally in love with you or serious with you so i don't know you yet or fully so well it's fine as a guy yeah it's like a privilege and an experience like some of you guys you already of course experience that because you're guys yes yeah. some of you don't like that because you prefer one-on-one -on -one. yes but there are totally guys that okay i'm down with that they want to experience that they're curious <laughs> about it and of course some of you guys likes that yes we know that yeah but if a filipina would initiate that and they would tell it right away that oh we could do a threesome oh that's already questionable guys 
that's really questionable. Yeah, for sure you'll be shocked, guys, because you didn't expect that uh, there are Filipinas who initiates to have uh, three sons. No, it's unusual. Yeah, it's unusual in the Philippines. Like, again, we are territorial of what we have and yeah. we are dating. Even we are just boyfriends in the stage. Even if you are in a stage that you're getting to know each other, you just get like you're in the stage of like one week, yeah. two weeks. Oh, that's not it. Yeah, that's so not a way to go. I would like to say that a real Filipina won't share their food to other person. Yes, they don't share. Again, Filipinas are very jealous. Like they are a jealous type Filipina. Like even you just um, look at another Filipina, they get jealous. If you talk to one, they get jealous. So if a Filipina would directly say that, oh, we could do this and we could do that, that would be a good experience. Yeah. I can choose a woman that we can do it. Right. Yeah? No, we can't allow that. No way. Yeah, I can say those uh, type of Filipinas who are like working in bars, the walkers, yes. hustlers, so those type of Filipinas. Yes, I That's guess. their thing. That's their, I cannot say it's a job, but they can make their selves like happy or enjoy, pleasure. No, um, they're just trying to entertain or try to lure more the foreigner's attention. So they would definitely get the attention of the foreigner because they're performing well. They're doing this, they're doing that. So of course for you guys, you have a hard rock there, a big hard rock. So that's already an opportunity for you. But believe me, don't do that because there are situations that you get in trouble here in the Philippines. Yes, so, so private thing or matter, you really have to keep as much as possible um, please remember this don't allow her to like drive have, you crazy nope like what i'm trying to say is don't allow her to take a video during your love making because you do not know that girl yeah much. you and have to remember that she can definitely use that for leverage she can put it and a situation that you would be blacklisted or even worse you'll be in jail so most filipinas are not experienced with those types of situation that they would perform threesomes most of them don't allow that because it's it's actually staining their dignity as a person yeah. so why would you do that to the person you love you're sharing you're sharing with another girl? <laughs> no, that's already playing. Well, if I were like the, the foreigner, I wouldn't like allow her or love her fully. Because um, in my mind, I have this second thought that uh, maybe she will do this to other person or other foreigner. Yes, so she's Especially well Especially if I'm not around. Yes, well experienced because once a uh, Filipina would open up to those types of topics, that's already a big warning sign for you guys. Yeah, true. So yeah, you have to just be careful and uh, you have to make sure that you know the girl well. Yes. The, the girl that you are dating. So that's take true. time and just enjoy yourself. Just true. enjoy yourself. So that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And we hope to see you in our next vlog. No hate, just, just love. love. Bye. Bye.